Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool bouncing frame effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is what the final edit looks like right here. It's just called the bouncing frame effect. And I've done a whole bunch of different videos, you know, with this, the idea of the same effect. This is a really cool spin or twist on some of my previous um, effects. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to the example right here and basically just go over how to create this effect. So I'm gonna go over here to the first clip right here. I'm just gonna hold down option F right here. Now you could make this, you know, a moving uh, moving freeze frame or you can like track the mask, but I decided I'm just gonna use this as a freeze frame um, transition. So all I did was I just set the duration to 20 frames using control D and then I just typed in 20. That's just kind of how long I wanted. Um, you can make it longer or shorter but I would say probably 10 or 20 frames um, is recommended. And I just place the freeze frame on top of the first clip, just like a normal uh, freeze frame. Now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna head over to the effects panel right here. You wanna just type in mask right here or select the mask and you're just gonna apply a draw mask onto the clip. Now you could actually do this with the entire frame, but I'm just gonna do this with this subject right here. And I'm just going to make a really really um, rough selection um, right here like I said before you could actually do this you know with the actual um, you know the entire frame and you don't have to cut out the person but I thought this was a really cool idea um, when it comes to you know creating a really cool freeze frame so I was gonna go ahead and just select the subject um, right there nothing too complicated um, right there and there you go now you've just selected um, the person right there and the next thing you want to do is you want to place a marker in the middle so I'm going to go ahead and just um, go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'm going to place a marker right there so they go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten basically what I just did was I placed a marker in the middle because this is we're going to have it kind of like it's going to zoom out then zoom back in so it's going to create that really cool bounce effect. Uh, so as I was, if you want to do like 10 frames, then you can go ahead and do like um, five frames, place a marker, and then five frames. That's basically how you create um, a bounce effect. I'm going to go ahead and just create a copy of this clip um, right there. I'll go ahead and place a keyframe on scale right here. I'm going to go to the middle right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and just type in 80 in the middle right here. And then I'm going to go to the end right here, and I'm just going to type in 100. So let's go ahead and play the video right here. So as you can see, there we go. Now you got to have that really cool bounce effect. So we kind of play it frame by frame. As you can see, he zooms out right here. He'll go in and then boom, he bounces right back in right there. I'm going to go ahead and create another copy right here. But when I head to the middle right here, instead of typing in 80, I'm just going to type in 60 right here. I'm going to go ahead and create another copy um, right here. And then instead of 60, I'm going to type in 40 right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and create another copy right here. So in total, there should be five copies. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in 20 as the scale right there. So hopefully, I'll play it back and see if the playback works. So there we go. You have created this really, really cool bounce effect right there. And that's basically how you create this really cool bounce effect um, right there. So go, go ahead frame by frame. And as you can see, there we go. You've created this really cool bounce effect right there and then you go ahead and then you bounce back in basically all the clips are the same thing the same keyframe however this is scaled to 80 percent 60 40 and 20 so you create this really cool scaled um, look effect and then you can go ahead and create a compound clip right here you can select all these clips right here click on option g and then just call this um bounce right here and then if you want you could add some motion blur on the clip to you know, make it look, look a little more realistic i found that adding too much motion blur kind of loses um, the point of the effect so that of course is all up to you and you, you know you can make that decision uh, as kind of a personal preference um, right there but that's pretty much it as you can see right here here's the motion blur right here so let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
there you go it's as simple as that it's really cool as you can see right here all these clips are the exact same thing but they scale at 80 60 40 20 so basically you're just keyframing the scale but every other clip you're making the scale smaller and smaller and smaller or you can make it bigger and bigger uh depends on the look that you want and then of course you could add some motion blur just to help make the effect look a little bit more believable but i wouldn't add too much motion blur or else the effect looks a little bit weird anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you want to watch more final cut pro 10 tutorials make sure to hit that subscribe button see you in the next one peace